Hey guys, we're back with more Pokemon Fire Red. Last time I said I was gonna go all the way back up to Cerulean City to go that way, but I forgot we have this gym here that I need to face. Oh. Yo, champ in the making. The Lightning American, huh? Electric Pokemon. Bird and Water match poor. Okay, well. So, I hope you got some paralyzed heals. We are going to basically use B Dude for most of this because. Electric Pokemon are fairly... Uh, I think they're weak against rock and or ground. Ground specifically. But we have a sailor here, Dwayne, that has a Pikachu. And B-Dude's like, hey, I can take care of this, don't worry. Uh, magnitude... Oh, no, not Quick Attack. Which are one damage. Silly Pikachu. Seven. That should finish him off. Pikachu, fairly defensively weak, but a pretty decent attacker. Though Raichu, obviously, is much better as an attacker, because most of all Pokemon tend to have better stat growth. Ooh, a slam! Wow, that did four. Aren't you special? And yet another Magnitude 7. Ah. You can catch a Pikachu in the Viridian Forest, in that little grass patch near the end. I have never in my life, been able to do that. Ever. Never. I, I can't figure out why I can't, but I just, I can't do it. Like, I could wander in there for three hours. No. I could wander in there for three hours and not run across one. I usually have to wait until... There's another type of, uh, trainer here, an engineer. They generally have electric Pokemon. Now, even though Voltorb looks like he's floating, he does not have the levitate move, so... This should hit him. And he screeched down B Dude's ridiculously high defense. But yeah, never caught a Pikachu there. Always had to wait until the power plant later in the game. Not like it mattered. I never really ever used one. And B Dude hit level 23. Two more attack and defense. And use Magnemite, who also looks like he's floating and yet does not have the levitate status. Because that, that's the one thing that annoys the like, mess out of me about coughing, is that in this generation, you know, the third generation, even though this is the first generation game, he has the levitate ability, which makes him immune to all ground-type moves, and poison is weak to ground, so, like... Ugh. Okay, you look a lot older than he does, by the way. Taskmaster? I mean the Marvel character task, but no, not the Marvel character task master. Who is awesome, by the way. And he has a Pikachu. Wow, this is very... Not not a very... Uh, end up showing of the electric Pokemon. No Electabuzz. Um, no evolved forms yet, but that's, you know, that's okay. But who, else, who else is an electric Pokemon? Well, obviously no Zapdos. There we go, we defeated Gentleman Tucker, and he gives us a crap ton of money. Now, these little beams here prevent you from entering the... there. Because I don't know why Lieutenant Surge seems to think that he's special and can have some kind of trap to keep you out of there, even though it's his job as a gym leader to fight you and measure your strength, but... Eh. I'll stop questioning Pokemon logic eventually. Well, you have to check each of these barrels. And somebody tells you this, I think that sailor down there tells you this, that there's two switches in these barrels. Um, hey, and you turn the switch on. I, now, there's the first electric lock. Now, what I'm going to do is, since I don't feel like, uh, you have to basically select the second barrel, What you know, see, now, oh, it resets the electric lock. Is this one? Nope, it's not trash, so gonna reset that there. Let's try this one. Oh, okay. Well, that was easy. But yeah, you have to hit both locks in, you know, together or it'll reset the lock and it will randomize which switch, uh, is which trash can the switch is in. Which I don't get because clearly if I check this trash can and find out there's only trash here and then I hit the switch and then miss the switch, it can't be in here because I already looked in here and that's just annoying and gamer raging. Okay, let's face off against Lieutenant Surge. P 
puny power. Yeah, okay. What war? When was there a Pokemon war? I really would like to know this. That, like, when was he in a war and Pokemon would help him out. He has three Pokemon. He has a Voltorb. Which is at a weaker level than a bunch of his other... <laughs> oh, I hate Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom will do 20 damage no matter what. It's a pain in the ass. Because you could put up, you know, the type advantage and have a much stronger Pokemon, and then they go Sonic Boom, and you're getting hurt a lot more than you should. I mean, sure, there's a place for it, and I accept that, but it just annoys the mess up. Thankfully, I don't think any of his other Pokemon actually possess that. Pikachu does have Double Team, which can, in the right hands, can be amazing, especially if you have a Pokemon that knows it and the ability to put the enemy to sleep. You put him to sleep and then double team your heart out while he's asleep, and when he wakes up, he pretty much can't hit. And his big Pokemon is his Raichu, which is an evolved form of Pikachu required or um, attained by using a Thunderstone on Pikachu. And any Pokemon that has a Stone evolution, it's very debatable when you want to evolve them. You know, you evolve them right away so they get better stat growths. And of course, he uses a super potion. Do you evolve the right away to get better stat growth out of them, or do you wait a little while and, you know, let them learn some moves? Like, uh, you know, if you watch the TV show, Ash let uh, Pikachu learn Quick Attack before, it, you know, we never evolved them, but, you know, the Surge's Pikachu in the show did not have Quick Attack because he evolved it early. Or his right here. You know what I mean. And we defeated Lieutenant Surge. Thank you, B-Dude. You're amazing. And he gives us $2,400 and evokes us and uh, puts us on the Thunder Badge, which increases your speed of your Pokemon. And we can now use Fly and T it contains Shockwave. And I am going to, I think, since I don't have an electric Pokemon. Going to teach this to turnips. So now I have we'll have an electric move on at least somebody. Um, he can unlearn. Yeah, he can unlearn disable. I forgot disable and turnips learn shockwave. All right, there we go. Okay, now that's done. Let's, uh, take a look at our map here. Uh, where's our map? Where's our map? Where's the map? Where... That's right, I never got the map, damn it. Ugh. Alright, well, now that we have cut, there's something we could do. Something we will need for the future. Over here, this is Route 11. If you continue on this way, you can beat a bunch of trainers, and you get to a a uh, crossroads where you can go up or down, but in the way is a Snorlax that we can do nothing about yet, so really going this way is ultimately pointless. To get to Lavender Town, the next our next town destination, we would have to go back up to Cerulean City, which is where I went last time thinking I could go there, then go right, go down and go through a uh, rock tunnel and get to Lavender Town. The rock tunnel is completely dark, and we can't do nothing about that, so we need to go... I'll get that item later, don't worry about it. What we need to do is we need to go down into the depths of the Diglett. Where is my results? There. Okay. Who is my highest level Pokemon? Right now it is Bidude, so he's going to get a potion so he's not going to die. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna go down into this, Diglett's Cave. You can run into Diglett and Doug Trio here, and they're roughly, you know, level 19 to... Diglett's range from like 19 to 22, Doug Trio's are like 28, you know. So, like, a repel, a repel is not a guaranteed, you know, get out of jail free card. I'll organize my inventory eventually. 
because you can still run into something that's probably a higher level than all your Pokemon and will attack you. And why did I do that? I wasted steps there. But, we're out in Diglett's Cave, and he talks about, you know, need a Pokemon to use Flash. And in there is a guy who wants to trade uh, an Abra for your Abra for his Mr. Mime, which, unless you pretty much, you know, need Pokemon to fill out your Pokedex, then you don't need to worry too much about that, which I will eventually have to do. Wait, did I get it? I did get it. What the crap? So what? Did I... I got the items here too, didn't I? Yeah, I just forgot the gym. God damn it. Now I feel retarded, because... Eventually, uh, this Pokemon LP is going to take the place of one of my other LPs that happens during the week. So then I'll actually be doing more than one episode every week, and I will not forget everything that happens in between then and now. Alright, well, I'm gonna run through here, and I'll meet you back on the other side. All right, we're back up here and gonna continue on at least a little bit towards, you know, um, Lavender Town or the Rock Tunnel. And we have this girl who's like, uh, am I? Uh, okay, totally, yeah, wrong person. Um. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Zubac can deal with anything. He should have a couple. Not if he's asleep. Ugh. Uh, loose. Okay, one turn. Yeah, continue. That's pretty much all. That. I don't know why they bother to do this with Hottishes. It's like, oh, we'll put you to sleep, and then I'll just constantly. Sweet sent you to lower your evasion, even though I don't attack you. I'm like, what are you doing? I need Ash from the show there. Uh, that probably won't do a crap ton now. Oh, a critical hit, really? Wait, oh, not. Um, it's not bug moves that affect uh, grass, it's flying, which he doesn't have any. Let's try bite. Wow, nothing. And. Oh, the different, 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 different. Alright, you know what? I'm tired of this. Go, Dilly. Uh, burn them all. Burn them all to hell. This would be a great way to end off this episode. And Dilly hits level 22. And Zubag is 99 more experience. Velcro. Uh, yeah, you're fine. You stay out there, Dilly. Just light them all on fire. I think it's two Oddishes, two Bellsprouts. Nothing to be concerned with here. If you wanted to, you know, level up a fire type or a flying type, this would be the person to do it on. At least for the time being. Because they're technically they're only level, you know, 18. If you went the other way toward, at, to the right of uh, the Radiant City, you jerk. I'm gonna die, it's not poison water. you. If you went to the right of Viridian City, you'd notice the trainers there had a Pokemon in the level 20. It's about as strong as I am. So, while I could kill them now and gain more level up, I'd rather just, you know, save them for later when my Pokemon are higher level and then need more experience, and they would be worth more experience, so, yeah. 
And there we go. That's it. Took care of that first trainer. Now we have a sort of puzzle here to continue on. How did I deceive you? See, uh, to get basically back to town, you have to go down and then around to the right and then up and then back down. And it also leads you to that patch of grass up there where you can catch more Pokemon. We'll take care of all that and all these guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Till then, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night.